Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Clearly this is what I look like before I get all made up and stuff. My hair's been in a puff for about two or three days now. It's time for me to wash my hair. As you can see, it's super, super stiff and extra dirty. I prefer to wash my hair in the morning times because I hate going to sleep with wet hair. It's the most uncomfortable feeling. So that's why I'm just going to be separating my hair now so I can get it ready to get washed. In this video, I'll be trying out some new products. The brand I'll be trying out is called Kenra. Um, you can find them at Ulta, but I'll be sure to put all their information in my description box. Y'all, when I tell y'all, their products smell so good. I think my favorite so far is the co-wash. Um, you guys know that um, if you're natural, then you should probably co-wash your hair more than you shampoo your hair. So I've been using the co-wash and conditioner. Like I said, I like to separate my hair because my hair has gotten super thick. So that's why I'm starting off at the bottom and then working my way up to the top. I do use the co-wash first and I make sure I get it into my scalp. And I kind of work it down to my ends because it just, I don't know, it's a habit. And then after I'll go in with the conditioner. Once I finish with whatever side I started with, I just like to put my hair in a little bun and then just work my way to the other side. As you guys can see, my hair is horrendous. It needed to be washed. I shouldn't have went this long without washing my hair. But um, yeah, I'll just make sure that I get the shampoo all over my hair. And then after that, I'll rinse it out and continue with the conditioner. I don't rinse all of my conditioner out, but I do rinse most of it out. And then I'll go on top of it with my Aussie Moist Conditioner. This is the moisturizing one. This one, as well as the 3 Minute Miracle, are like heaven for hair, y'all. Like, if you have not tried it, definitely try it. I'm just separating my hair again because I cannot work in huge sections and I'm just going in with the curl refresher uh, by the same brand and this is supposed to lighten up the curls if they get dry without having to drench your hair in water. I'm a big person with smell like if a product does not smell good like it could be so good but if it does not smell good I cannot use it. So this stuff definitely smells good as well as the next one which is called a curl cream and a little of this stuff goes a long way but of course me being heavy handed I had to use way too much so that's why you guys will see throughout the video white cast on my hair that's because I just went a little overboard on the product. I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side, making sure that product is evenly dispensed throughout my hair, going in with the curl refresher and then the curl defining cream. It gets pretty repetitive, that's why I'm just fast forwarding most of the video because I'm literally just doing the same thing to each side of my head. I like to flip my head over like this just to try to get as much of the white cast out of my hair as possible because I don't like to t-shirt dry my hair because my hair just like shrinks up way too much and I already have super shrinkage so that's why I just keep my hair like this. And taking a little of that curl gel I'm just going to put that on my ends. 
Like I told you guys before, I'm big on smell and I did not like the way the spray gel smelled so I was not putting that in my hair. So this is what my hair looks like once I've gotten as much of the white cast out of it as possible. I'm just going to fluff it out some more and then after I'm going to put down my baby hairs with some eco styling gel. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my wash day routine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.